ground station nestled in the mountains at Andover, Maine, a signal is sent to a speeding satellite, an historic feat that could reshape man's future. That satellite, of course, is the Telstar, 170 pounds of complex electronic equipment that receives signals beamed from Earth, magnifies them 10 billion times, and rebroadcasts them back to Earth. Pictures, telephone calls, telegraph messages, and computer data all can be handled by the orbiting device. The Telstar receives its power from batteries that are recharged by the sapphire-coated solar cells, which in turn are activated by rays from the sun as it hurtles through space at a low point of 600 miles to a high of 3,500 miles. The Telstar is set aloft from Cape Canaveral atop a four Delta rocket in a joint industry government effort. The Space Administration team handles the launching for AT&T, and it's a $50 million phone call for the telephone company. Future plans call for the orbiting of 20 to 25 satellites like the Telstar. Thus, when one passes out of range of ground stations, another will be coming into position. Presently, along with the ground station in Maine, there is a receiver and transmitter in Great Britain at Cornwall, and in France, on the coast of Brittany. Even as Telstar is launched, the French rush to complete their installation to receive a signal that night. Now the rocket climbs far into the atmosphere, and the Telstar is about to separate and orbit the Earth each two and a half hours. Starting with the sixth orbit and through the ninth, the Telstar is in range of both the U.S. and European stations, and pictures are received clearly in France, with somewhat lesser success in Britain on this first test. The signals are beamed from this 18-story dome that houses the super-sensitive horn weighing nearly 400 tons, an antenna so delicately tuned that it picks up a mere whisper of a signal from the satellite and amplifies it again billions of times for rebroadcast over cables or the air. Now comes the historic moment a moment compared in significance with the first message sent over the telegraph. This is the first picture transmitted to outer space and received back again on Earth. Scenes of the dome at Andover are flashed across the sea, and man marks another milestone in this age of scientific miracles. So proudly it waves. What does the future hold? Well, scientists visualize a belt of tell stars encircling the globe in such a manner that transmission will be continuous around the world. Both sides of the Earth can be in immediate photographic contact, communication that could bring better understanding among men.